bullpen was definitely a strength for the Yankees last season. And one of the members of that bullpen is Justin Wilson. And he joins us now by phone. And Justin, when you look back on last season, how would you evaluate the way that you pitched? Um, you know, I, I felt like I finished strong. Um, I had a few outings there early where, uh, you know, you go out and you give up a couple runs in a, in a short outing, it, it kind of hurts you. But, um, you know, as a whole, I think we all did well and um, kept teams in it and um, was, you know, pretty happy with my performance. You talked about finishing strong. As you're getting ready to come back in 2016, anything you'd like to do differently, anything you plan on changing, or do you like the formula that you go with, which is a lot of fastballs, a lot of cutters? Yeah, um, you know, mainly my thought process, you know, after you kind of evaluate the season, is um, it'd be nice to, to have a, a strikeout pitch and, you know, an out pitch. Um, so I don't have a few more foul balls and can get guys out hopefully a little bit quicker. You know, maybe it's a, a little bit more of a, a slider than a cutter or um, a, a harder curveball. Is that something when you get to spring training with Larry Rothschild that you'll try and do some work in his laboratory? Is that something you work on in the offseason? How do you move toward trying to do that? Yeah, it'll be something that I start working on, um, you know, uh, once I get off the mound or start my flat grounds um, before I get to spring training. And then um, if we need a little bit more work on it, yeah, get, get with Larry. And uh, I'm sure he's got a bag of tricks that uh, he'll pull out. I wondered if you could take us inside that Yankee bullpen. I've covered bullpens before where you have a guy like John Wetland, who was a prankster. Then you had Mariano Rivera, who just kind of sat there and everybody wanted to soak up his wisdom. What was the dynamic of the Yankee bullpen last year? Oh, I think as a whole, we were pretty loose. Um, you know, it's kind of kind of sit there and everyone has their own separate routine, um, whatever it may be, when they stretch or um, what they do to get ready um, in case their name is called. Um, um, our whole deal as a um, as an entirety of the bullpen, you know, none of us really wanted to be surprised when the phone rang. We all wanted to be ready to go, and um, that that falls into our routines. But um, you know, we had a great group of guys to be with down there, um, a lot of fun, um, and we competed with each other. Um, really, I mean, you got Andrew and Dylan, um, who had unbelievable years, and um, I was trying to replicate a lot of what they did. When you look at those two guys at the end, and then you, like said, you being part of that, those three guys at the end, how important is that for a team to be able to go to guys at the end of the game and get strikeouts and to be able to shut down a game the way you guys did? Uh, I, think it's, I, I think it makes it easier on um, Joe and the staff um, for the most part is if they can shorten the game and um, you know, not have to bridge a gap in between a starter and the three of us, uh, more power to them. And, you know, and it, like I said, it didn't towards the end of the year. It didn't really matter. We were all ready to pitch any any given day, and uh, really just just wanted to get out there and um, preserve the win. When you look at your statistics last season against right-handed batters and left-handed batters, very similar. How important is it for you as a reliever to not just be a lefty specialist and to know to tell Joe Girardi, "Hey, listen, you need me to get some righties out. I can do that too." Well, I think it opens more doors for me. Um, you know, if I was only able to go in there and, and get lefties out, then I, my outings would be a heck of a lot shorter. Um, the, the fact that I can go in there and compete against uh, righties at the heart of the lineup really keeps me in the game and doesn't have to, you know, go to another arm. Saves, saves, uh, saves the guy for maybe the next day. So I've been hitting with all these baseball questions. To finish off, I want to ask you a fun question. Justin Wilson has a free day in the off season. doesn't have to do anything baseball-related. What are you doing? What's on your schedule? What do you do for fun? Uh, probably golfing. In fact, I think I'm on the uh, 